by the time you're 14 years old, you'll have eaten over 15,000 meals. And when you look back at all the best meals you've ever eaten, I'll bet my big toe, not one of them started with a tray. All right, it's meatloaf or fish sticks. Teddy, it's been meatloaf or fish sticks every Friday since school was invented. Just for the record, you should know that meatloaf also goes by several other names. Pepper steak, Swiss steak, cube steak, and Salisbury steak. That's what the cafeteria ladies call variety. And just like the food, the cafeteria ladies even look the same. Except for Emma. She was different from the others. You could see it in her eyes. Don't eat the meatloaf. What are you gonna have, Pete? I'll have the fish sticks. I had no idea what that was all about. Meatloaf, please. But I sure knew one thing. Gelatin was for dessert. Whenever they serve gelatin, I get so disappointed. It's like they're saying, we just didn't want to make the effort. All right, my favorite flavors, green and red. Once Teddy and I had our trays loaded up with tray load, we headed for our usual table with our usual friends. But as I would soon learn, there would be nothing usual about this lunch, because what began with Emma and the meatloaf would soon escalate into a war that threatened the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness of yours truly. Nothing to fight. I have nothing to fight with. That's when I saw Emma. She was escaping. She knew what she would become if she had stayed. And I knew what I'd become if I stayed. I'll meet you in Iowa. Iowa. They'd never find Emma there. And they'd never find me there. It was my only hope. If I took routes... Nickelodeon Guts, coming up next.